polychromes. These uh, were made in the southwest U.S. Uh, by a group, cultural group called the Salado. They date from about 1300 A.D. up to about 1600 A.D. Made a long time. They're very similar, three colors. Uh, the overall red slip, the white kaolin, and then the black. A lot of cloud symbols, water symbols. We'll talk about those at a later stage of that. This bowl is fantastic. Uh, big communal bowl, twin serpents on the exterior. We're going to reassemble this, put this back together. Look at all the little excavation numbers on that. Wow. Yeah, we're going to clean up these edges and just basically make it one piece, nice and sturdy. Uh, spirit break, we have, well, this, the this is a big communal bowl. And this was uh, ritually killed in the bottom like the membranes bowls we see so often. But we see a lot of ritual killing in pottery vessels. I'm not sure if it was so much to release the spirit of the vessel as it was so that your enemy couldn't use it when you abandoned the place. Uh, there is a painted spirit break on the bowl. It's not that piece, sweet. There we go. Where this band goes all the way around this big communal bowl, except for right there. There's that little spirit break there. We'll talk about some of these other symbols too. And I'm going to do a reconstruction on this. Uh, I'll do some photo photography of that process. Uh, we do find uh, this produced quite late in prehistory, uh, pushing 1500. So this is an earlier example. This is probably closer to uh, 1300, maybe 1350. And this very large, very bright red one is from very close to 1530, maybe. This could have been in use when Coronado walked by the Pueblo. Uh, beautiful examples. I see a lot of cloud symbols, corn symbols. Tonto Poly. Clean these edges up and reassemble it. It's got beautiful twin serpents on the exterior. There's a cloud head. There's the eye dot right there. And this was a big communal bowl. This was not for one person. This thing is a big bowl. You know. Makes sense. See the clouds on this one? The curly, this sort of interlock curlies, that's a cloud. Now, this symbol has been talked about as friendship or marriage. Uh, the sign language is, and it matches, which makes sense. But it's also a cloud. And it probably represents both ideas. We're going to assemble this bowl. We're going to do some photography of that going together. And I'll probably bring out uh, some helots, and we'll show some helots, the pre predecessor of the Tonto, uh, 1200, I think, to 1300. And I'll bring some of those out in the next little video. In the meantime, I'll get this bowl going. Boom, here we go. Careful. Here's my other edge, this one. Yeah. This is just a solvent. This is just acetone. I'm trying not to trash those excavation numbers. They're on the inside, so I'll favor the outside just a little bit when I brush. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Don't have to worry about it. Your initial stuff just make it tight. That's pretty good. I think I might have lived with that. It's a little right there. This next piece is going to be interesting. Yes, it's going to be. That is going to be interesting. We're going to have to do some special magic stuff to make that happen. Let's see if we can Let me get this other piece in before this sets too aggressively. A little more swing from here. And, and that. Yeah. Drops this baby around. 
right in there. And that is going to be tricky, but not. Well, it's not going to be brilliant. I've seen people take them all apart and do them, but you know, you do, every time you do that, you, you threaten damaging them. Restoration, less is more, you know. This is going to be a tricky one. This is, I'm probably going to have a little discontinuation here. But we'll see. No, it's just, what's the number? Let's give it a shot. Much better. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that feels good. That feels pretty good. Wow, that's, that is not bad. Not bad. It's not perfect. A little more pressure that way. Right there. That's good. That's real good. We can go a little tighter, but boy, that's good. Steady. I'm good. This is going to set for 24 hours and I'm going to add more weight so I know it will not slip, but it's pretty good, but I'm going to do a little bit more. Wow, okay. Yeah. Work that other one too. 100% push on it right now, but I know some tricks for tightening this stuff up. I don't know, do this other edge. A little quick. Let's see if we can. Okay, now I'm feeling a little better. Okay, that's uh, interesting. All right, now <laughs> for my next trick, what are we looking like? Well, we're not going to know till we try, huh? Let's. Uh, I don't like this edge. A lot better. I like that a lot better. Okay. Crush fingers. Oh boy. Boy, <laughs> ladies and gents, that's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. That's uh, boy. That considering this is a, oh my god. Well, that's amazing. That is really good. <laughs> that's. That's nice. That's nice. That's a nice fit. That is a very nice join. We're going to let that set for 24 hours and then we'll take a look at it and talk about it. Okay. I'll tell you that last piece went in a lot better than I thought it would. The trick is don't start pulling the props off until you get a little. There we go. Oh, that's nice.
That's nice. Let's get rid of all this stuff here. All right, I have on the table here some really good examples of this plumed serpent symbol. This comes up from Mesoamerica, from the Aztec. And we see it in Southwest United States pottery. And I know a lot of people will argue, oh, those are just pretty patterns. But this is a very good example of how you can see that they're not just pretty patterns. Uh, this is a good one here. Uh, you see this unit here? This is the same with this long serpentine body. There's another one over here. I'm going to bring this one over too. Point it out before I show you. <coughs> there it is. Here it is again. This is where the eye dot would be. Now, I know in this, on this one, you can see this is actually almost a rattlesnake pattern. And I'll show you a rattlesnake pattern. This is a better example of a rattlesnake pattern. This looks like the back of the snake. That's a rattlesnake pattern. That's a rattlesnake pattern. And this bowl has two plumed serpents. This one has the eye dot. That's the eyeball. And this is the head going this way, like an arrow point. And I'll show you other Thunderbirds. A plumed serpent and a Thunderbird are different units, but this one has the eye dot, head going this way. And there's the body. This one has like a corn grid dot pattern on it. And the inner docked cloud units, or friendship marriage, if you like. And now there's two serpents on here. This one's got the eye dot right there. And this one does not have the eye dot. See them? Now that's not a mistake. <laughs> the skill it took to make these vessels, those women were not, oh, I forgot to put the eye dot on. I will show you another bowl, other examples of this duality twin beings, if you will, usually the warrior twin idea that uh, shows two entities. One will have an eye dot <clears throat> and one not. Kind of a brother, brother, elder, brother, younger uh, idea. We see this quite a lot. Anyway, there's no eye dot, and I'll show you another example. And the eye dot. And this is a beautiful Tonto bowl. Now there's more we could do with this. We could, we could clean this caliche off. We could uh, paint out these cracks, but you know, I just, I've seen so many examples of wonderful artifacts damaged, if not destroyed, by overcleaning. And I'm just not big on, I mean, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up a little bit of this glue, these little shiny glue things, uh, not taking away the numbers from the excavation, but like here, I'll clean some of that off, just a titch, but, it's in really good shape. Glues. Just some of these drips here I want to get off. Because it will dry again. Now see, I'm getting some slip off on that. That's not uh, what I want to do. So we're going to be a little more conservative with that. Yeah, it'll evaporate very quickly. And by the way, there is a hood the whole room is a hood. In fact, you can hear the filter running right now. Uh, that a giant, all the air in this room is removed and replaced. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of slip off of that. I'm not going to go too far. You start seeing this. Yeah. We're actually going into that slip a little bit. It's a bit fugitive. Pretty, I'm not going to go crazy. That's pretty good. Let's just stop there. Okay, we've talked about the Tonto polychromes a bit, some of the symbols. Put this beautiful wall back together. And there's the kill hole, spiritual kill hole. Uh, beautiful wall. I'm really happy with this one. Other symbols on here, other than your serpent. This has the grid dot. This also has the grid dot. We have interconnect. We have the uh, 
clouds on the bowl here are, of course, the interlock swirly, probably wind. Here we have clouds on the outside. These little units are clouds. And we have this grid dot pattern again. You can see how similar these the three are, and the patterns are very similar. Uh, Quetzalcoatl, Bloom Serpent. And this is a really good example with the I dot and without. And we'll look at another example of that uh, when we do the, uh, the pine dip.